now tarot here with the intuitive monthly for the zodiac sign of pisces sun moon and rising for the month of may 2018 uh, quick announcement, Pisces. Special 50 is running for the entire month of May 2018. So if you haven't had the opportunity to take advantage and, you know, maybe you miss out on Special 50 all the time. Um, hold on, because this incense is burning all over the place. Um, now is the time to take advantage of that, okay? Hit me up at allsingoutarot at gmail.com. Make sure your subject line has Special 50, okay? And I'll get back to you. Spirit and Universe, what are the messages you have for the zodiac sign of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising for the month of May 2018? Show me Pisces. Here we go, Pisces. Ten of Cups. Knight of Wands. And the Six of Cups. Hmm. Five of Wands. King of Wands. And the Hermit, the Emperor. Okay, so we're definitely talking about there's Pisces that got pulled into that baby conundrum. <clears throat> Ace of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, some of you Pisces have had a new baby this year. Congratulations. For those of you that had a baby for the year 2018, overall energy. It's justice. Okay. Okay. All right. So we have the Ten of Cups, the Knight of Wands, and the Six of Cups. Okay. Um, I definitely feel that a lot of you Pisces may have gotten involved with uh, someone that you already have a child with. It looks like maybe you welcomed a new baby in this year uh, with the same individual. That's number one. Number two, it could also be that... Uh, It's a possibility that some of you Pisces may have welcomed two children and at the same time, definitely at the same time, you may have two kids coming in because the Six of Cups here, you got the Knight of Wands and the Ten of Cups. It could be that you welcomed in two kids, okay, at the same time. Or, you know, you got two women pregnant or, you know, um, maybe you're you're the woman that is pregnant you're pisces and you're the woman that is pregnant or had a baby and maybe your partner had another baby with someone else okay especially if your partner is a water sign okay you need to watch out for that and also if your partner happens to be a sagittarius or leo okay yeah i'm i'm going to say that because that's there okay it for pisces definitely if your partner happens to be a leo or a sagittarius it could be that they welcomed in a brand new child, okay, with you and with someone else, okay, if that makes sense. Um, I don't know why I'm reading it like that. Let me just go across because I'm, I'm I don't want to read one story. I'm going to get them, a lot of them. Okay, all right. So you welcomed in a new baby with someone that may have been a little wild and welcomed in two children or maybe they were back to back maybe the kids were back to back okay um maybe it could say that you you know uh maybe you need to be a little bit more thoughtful pisces because maybe you're having babies too soon back to back it could be that too okay i'll put it that way maybe you just recently had two kids within you know the year Okay, within, I'll say 2017 into 2018 or something like that. Or maybe you had a baby in 2017 and then you got pregnant again. And then now you're having a baby at the beginning of 2018. You know, it's like having kids back to back. Okay, you need to uh, really take your time and, and watch your body. Definitely, because having children that close together is just, it's not very healthy. You might need to, you know, 
Watch your body, definitely. I'm going to say watch your body, all right? Um, I have the Five of Wands, the King of Wands, and the Hermit. I'll put it this way. It could be that maybe some of you Pisces are having children to keep your partner, maybe because your partner is interested in a fire sign, okay? Leo or Sagittarius. Maybe you know that you have a little competition with this person here, okay? But it kind of seems to me that your partner may not even be with them. They might be with you. That's weird. Yeah, it is. It seems like this is your competition, a fire sign, okay? A Leo or a Sagittarius. Maybe you found out your partner was cheating with this person, okay? It reminds me of, you know, the two sisters that got pregnant by the same guy and shit. They're competing. I see that all the time with Pisces. I don't know. Listen, it's your mind state. I can't argue with it. Like, for some reason, you feel that having children is what's going to keep your partner happy and keep them with you. It kind of looks like maybe your partner has had a baby with a fire sign, okay? A Leo or a Sagittarius, all right? And this is your competition, is what it looks like. Um, or they already have kids with this person, okay? And they're not taking care of the child with this person, all right? They're, they're wrapped up in you, and maybe you just recently had a new baby, Okay, and this is going to cause some problems, so you need to be careful. We got justice here, so this could be some court shit that goes on between Pisces and Sagittarius or Pisces and Leo. All right, there'll be some court shit that's going on between you guys. All right, let's see. We have the Emperor, the Ace of Wands, and the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, this is the father figure. Okay, so for those of you Pisces that are men, it kind of, see, I have two kids. I have two affairs that's going on in the sign of Pisces. I never seen that before. I never seen where a man could be having two children by two different women. It's two different women. So it could be maybe Pisces that is connected with um the King of Wands. L let me look at this. I'm I gotta look at this. I'm sorry guys. I got to I got to because this is literally all over the I have kids here. Going to five of wands. Whoa. Page of Pentacles, Ten of Swords. This is a baby. Look at this. Look at that. Ace of Cups, Knight of Swords. This is two kids that's coming in, just like I seen. Ten of Pentacles, the world, and the Page of Swords. There is two children that Pisces has brought in this year. Okay? Or between 2017, moving into... Because we're not all the way through 2018. So... There's two children that came in for the year of 2017 into 2018 for Pisces, all right? I see two affairs. So, you know, I mean, it could go either way. Some of you are Pisces. Those of you that are Pisces women, you may have welcomed a brand new baby in. Maybe you had two children back to back, okay? But even if you had two children back to back, I still see a partner that may have been stepping out on you. Or maybe you had these kids to keep your partner, try to keep them with you, okay, Pisces? Let me look at this Ace of Wands because this shit's literally everywhere. This is children problems. I, I don't care which way I take it. Even if I look down, I still see a competition between two women. It's like the father that stands in the middle that had two babies, two different baby mamas, and there's still competition here. And these are new babies. These are new kids. Um, Let's see. Where do I go here? The Hermit card, you not taking care of the baby that you may have had, Pisces, by um, Leo or Sagittarius is going to pull you in court very soon. You probably will get some letters or some information in the month of May that you need to appear to a court hearing. Okay? Yeah. You're going to need to appear to a court hearing. Look at that, Emperor. Let me go into this Ace of Wands. You're going to have to go to court. Pisces. I remember look at that shit. <laughs> Maybe you got uh you got kids by a water sign. This is water. Okay, so this is what it is, Pisces. Because I have the King of Cups, which represents Pisces or Scorpio. Okay. The Six of Swords. The Knight of Cups and the Three of Pentacles. Some of you already have a household. Maybe you is maybe it's Pisces and Scorpio together, Pisces and Pisces, Pisces and Cancer together. It's two water signs that are together already that welcomed in a new baby. Okay. And maybe there was a breakup in the middle of this woman being pregnant, your woman, your main woman being pregnant. 
you had a fight and you left the house. When you left the house, you ran into this king of wands. This is Leo or Sagittarius. You hooked up with this person. This person got pregnant. Now, your woman or your main person that you're with may have been two months. You go, you have a fight with your partner, you leave. Maybe you leave for three days. In that three days, you hook up with the king of wands. You have sex with the king of wands. This person gets pregnant. You don't have a relationship with this king of wands, okay? Um, it kind of looks like a, a rebound situation, but she gets pregnant. She keeps the baby. Fast forward. Now the kids are born, okay? Now you got a problem because this king of wands has been waiting on you to come back and, and be a father to her child and whatever else she expected, a relationship out of you, Okay? She's causing a problem because maybe she's going to reach out to your girlfriend and say, hold up. I just had a baby bottom too. Okay. Um, and he hasn't done anything. So she's going to step out there and say, you know what? Since you don't want to help me out, I'm going to court. I'm going to sue you for child support. So she's threatening. This is probably Sagittarius. Okay. She's threatening. And she's saying, okay, you don't want to take care of the kid. You don't want to be in a relationship with me. You you think you're cool. You done went back to your woman. Everything working out. You used me whenever you and your woman was having problems. But now you go back to your woman and it's fuck me. Okay, no problem. I'm going to court. That's how that's going to go. Okay? Now, for those of you that are not pregnant, let's go into Pisces. Let's go into those Pisces that didn't have any children. All right? What this basically says is that uh, some of you Pisces, you have a competition between two different women. One of them may be Leo or Sagittarius. The other woman may be um, uh, Scorpio or Pisces like yourself. Okay. Maybe you're in a long-term relationship with Leo or Sagittarius. You guys have a fight. You end up leaving. You hook up with... Scorpio Pisces. I don't care which way you take it. It's still going to represent that you got a baby by one of them. All right. Maybe you don't have two kids coming in. Maybe you only got one. Maybe you had, you was with the baby mama, which is Leo or Sagittarius. Okay. You got one kid by this person already. You guys have a fight. You leave the house. You hook up with Cancer Pisces Scorpio. This person gets pregnant. Okay. Maybe some of you Pisces may have left your main girlfriend. The first one that has the ch child by you. Okay. You don't want to take care of your child that you have by this individual. You've neglected this woman that has your kid already. And you started taking care of or being in a relationship with that cancer Pisces Scorpio. Now she's pissed the fuck off and she's going to sue you for child support. That's how that's going. Because I have this in Sagittarius. So Sagittarius is the one that probably have a child by you, Pisces, okay, that you neglected, that you were previously with. And then you guys broke up and then you moved on with someone else and then you end up getting that person pregnant. <laughs> and now you don't want to do for her and her kids, okay? And, and she's going to sue you, all right? So definitely look out for court this month for a lot of you Pisces, okay? Court and child support is what I see for a lot of you Pisces. Okay. Yeah, that's everywhere. I, I couldn't even get away from it. I mean, but that's the first time I really seen Pike. I don't usually see Pisces with a bunch of babies and shit. You know, that's the first time I ever seen it, you know, manifesting in the sign of Pisces. Usually I see it in Cancer. Okay. And sometimes in Scorpio, but not Pisces, you know, but I mean, you know, it is what it is. Like, share, comment below, subscribe. If you haven't already hit your notification button. Um, definitely, like I said, uh, if you want to take advantage of special 50, hit me up at all sing I tarot at gmail.com. Make sure your subject line says special 50 and until next month, I thank you so much Pisces.